In the near future, cities across Europe will come with green technologies for the valorization of organic biowaste. The Value Waste Solution combines three value chains that transform through a cascading approach of and by waste into added value products like food and feed ingredients and fertilizers. We are implementing pilot experiences in two municipalities in Europe, Kalumbor in Denmark and Murcia in Spain, where we have ambitious goals uh, in urban bio waste valorization as a way to contribute to European cities' circularity, efficiency and sustainability. In Murcia, Ferrovial launched the pilot experience and the collection of urban bio waste in the neighborhood of La Flota. The brown containers are used for citizens and uh, they deposit the bio waste. At this moment, the quality is very good, especially for the local markets. Then, the bio waste is transported to the value waste pilot plant in Caña de Hermosa, where the treatment begins. In the plant, we collect all the garbage and we treat it mechanically and we improve the quality of the bio waste. After this, the bio waste moves forward to an anaerobic digester. We designed and installed the anaerobic digester of the value waste pilot plant. It processes bio waste into biogas and humid digestate. This humid digestate or semi liquid fraction and biogas are in between products that will be further treated during the valorization process. Moving forward, on one side, value waste carries out the recovery of nutrients, nitrogen, and phosphorus necessary to produce fertilizers for agriculture. Nuresis and Ecobalance participate in this process with their expertise. After the digester, uh, the water or the liquid, semi-liquid, goes through a dewatering process where we separate solids and water. The solids are later on dried and then used in the fertilizer production as, as a base. The liquid goes into a tank and from the tank it goes to two different types of uh, facilities, one for phosphor removal and one for nitrogen removal. In our first unit we recover phosphorus, which is very important because it's a limited resource and it's important as a fertilizer for food production and food safety. Once the phosphorus is, is recovered, the uh, liquid moves on to our EcoN, the nitrogen removal facility. We manage to extract the nitrogen in a, in a solid phase as a salt rather than a liquid, which is typical. Uh, we can then use it and mix it together with the solids that we had in the previous process step, and we can make a fertilizer product out of it. At the same time, the valorization process of the dry fraction happens in parallel. We put up two facilities. Uh, in one facility, which is in Caña de Mosa, uh, we feed the larvae with organic bio waste and also the solid fraction of the digestate. And in, an in another facility that we built, we are doing some other experiment and the processing of the larvae to get the final products. Finally, as a last step, insects are farmed, producing proteins, fats, and ketosan for fertilizer production. Meanwhile, Baluis develops a third valorization process in Kalenburg, Denmark. In uh, Kalenburg, we have uh, used our experiences from uh, the, the symbiosis, where we have worked with um, valorization of waste products uh, for 40 years and uh, for bio waste for more than 30 years. The valorization line in Kalenburg uses methanotrophic bacteria fed on biogas with the goal to produce novel feed and food ingredients. So we are actually, you know, using the biogas as a waste product. And then when we take it to our fermentation process, we call we, we produce a biomass. And as such, you know, what is really creating value for us is that we actually, through our downstream process, we are fractionating the components of the biomass into valuable products, like protein ingredients, like fatty acids, like cell walls, etc. Now, to reach the market, it is necessary to also assure the safety and performance of the value waste products. Biocompounds obtained from methanotrophic bacteria fed uh, with biogas have been tested and uh, good results have obtained with potential applications as food ingredients and uh, fit ingredients also. We contribute to this safety validation process with further live testing with fishes and shrimps. But could the consumers buy and use this bio waste the right products? We have learned that people are very aware of environmental uh, aspects 
and uh, they are interested in new bioproducts. In this context, Valuis has paid great attention to engaging the population. The engagement of the population is very, very important. Without the participation, Valuis project wouldn't be possible. We are working on almost every channel. Valuis delivers tired content to its audiences, connecting the project to these audiences through innovative ways. That said, communication alone is not enough. Value Waste is also active in policy. In Value Waste, we analyze the policies in place and the regulatory barriers that are relevant for the Value Waste sector, and in particular for the valorization of Value Waste into new products. In this regard, a standardization work is also being taken care of by UNE, a standardization body and representative in international and European organizations. What is then next? Well, as I see it, uh, the Value Waste project has an enormous market potential. Three combined value chains presents a lot of different uh, possibilities. The Value Waste project develops uh, business models, circular economy business models, with the technology providers. We also work to define potential applications that could be demanded by market. To, to identify competitors, Overall, Value Waste elaborates solid recommendations for future large urban Value Waste valorizing plants. Murcia and Calumba are just the beginning. In the coming future, more, more and more cities and, and regions will be able to um, profit or benefit from the uh, valorization scheme that we propose in, in Value Waste, the so-called the Value Waste Solution. <laughs>